back to stylish Nigeria YouTube channel. I want to say thank you to all of our subscribers. Thank you all for subscribing to stylish Nigeria YouTube channel. Thank you for your love and for your support. I really appreciate all of you. I really, really do. Okay, so in today's video, this is a requested video. Someone actually sent this picture. I think this picture has been actually been sent more than once by different people. So today I just decided to show us how to cut and sew this cow neckline yoke yeah, yoke top. Yeah, I think that should be the name. Seriously, it is a cow neckline and it has a yoke inside of it. Okay, so that's what we are going to be learning how to cut and sew today. It is a simple project, like I would always say. Yeah, it is a simple project. Okay, so if you are new to the channel, you are highly and very welcome. If you have not subscribed, please subscribe to Stylish Ninja YouTube channel and then hit on the bell also to get an update whenever I upload a new video. Okay, so now let's start. Let's get straight to the tutorial. So for the tutorial, so this is the net that I'm going to use for my yoke. And then this is my satin. I have about two yards of satin here that I'm going to use. It's a doll face. And then I'm going to be making use of my basic body. So I already have different cow neckline tutorial on the channel already but i just don't want to start a basic body from down in case you don't know how to do this this is like a half body block i'll drop the link on the description box it is a simple um, thing to do for beginners okay so now we already have our pattern so this is our half cut if you notice it has a half cut this cow is not a straight full cow blouse it has a half cut and my half cut is 15 inches that's where i'm going to be adding the peplum so, so i have my 15 inches here now so the next thing i'm going to do now we're going to cut out so this pattern i'm going to use it to cut out the back neckline so for the back neckline i'm just going to add make use of about three and a half inches for my back neckline so that's my three inches width i'm going to come with about one one inch so this is going to be for my back neckline so i'll cut out the back neckline and then i'll cut out the back pattern so i'm making use of the same pattern paper so now I'll place on my fabric and then i'll cut out so i'll cut out two pieces because i'll fold my fabric into two and then cut out okay so you can see i finished cutting out the back pattern so um, you just add your zipper allowance to it if you are going to be adding a zipper to your dress make sure that you have the zipper allowance so i'll just take this off now and then we'll use this now to cut out the front pattern okay so for the for the middle part so we're going to cut out our yoke first so for this kind of yoke we're not cutting out a small yoke that's a short yoke so we're cutting out a full body's yoke so you can see what i have here that i cut out i just use my pattern again to cut out like a full bodice with my net so this is what is going to be on the center of the dress so it's going to lay flat like this why the cow part will come on top of it so it gives it that uh, fitting so the next thing i supposed to work on the cow pattern so for the cow pattern it depends on how much so the cow pattern you have some slash and spread on the shoulder part but i'm not going to add the slash and spread i'm just going to show you how to elongate it because i don't want to confuse the beginners for this so i'm just going to use my hand to manipulate it and show you how to do that but we're going to slash the neckline part which is the regular slash and spread for a cow neckline so what I'm going to do, I'm going to come down, I'm going to make use of my armhole measurement for this. So I'm making use of 9 inches from my, my armhole. I'll just mark 9 inches from this point and then I would mark it to this point like this and then I will cut it open like this. So this is how much we are going to open up we're going to open up as wide and then this shoulder part also we're going to open this up also so this was something i did earlier i'm just trying to show you how it will be like for those people that are advanced they would understand when they see this so you can see these two patterns that we have here so you can do this like this 
and then also spread slash the shoulder part and then you open it up to get fullness also but i'm just going to manipulate this here because of the sake of the beginner so it's not too complicated okay so i have my pattern here so i want you to please pay a good attention so now we're going to spread you know, normally when you are doing normal cow neckline you can spread as much as seven inches between five and seven inches that you just spread it like this and then you mark and then you cut out but this is a little bit different so i'm going to spread because you can see the fullness so i'm going to spread it very well as in when i mean very well as much as between 10 to 12 inches so you can see i have about 11 and a half inches here which is okay so the next thing i'm going to do since i'm not slashing this part what i'm going to do i'm just going to add like extra five inches to the to the arm that's to the shoulder why because if you take a good look at the picture you see that it is splitted so you can do slash and spread like what i showed you earlier on like this that you can do this and then open this up and and then spread it so the advance on so as you understand what i'm trying to say so you open it up like this so i'm going to add as much as five inches to my shoulder so you have to be very careful when doing this so when i'm doing this now automatically i'm going to try as much as i can to elongate this a little bit so it is not too short So now this comes here to this point. So now from here to here now is my is my shoulder line. And then this is my neckline. So you just make sure you make a notch here. And then from this point like this, I'm going to do this now. I'm just going to mark this like this to this tendon part like this. So make sure you mark where your shoulder line is going to stop. So you know that the whole of this part, you are going to pleat it to fit into the shoulder line. So what we are going to use as guide is this. This is what we are going to use as guide. So the whole of this shoulder, we are going to pleat, pleat it into this part. And then the other one, you pleat it into this part. And then it falls down. So you, you will understand as we go along. But I just want you to understand how the spread works. So I'm going to go ahead and cut it out now. So this is my shoulder part. This part is going to be pleated. This comes down and then this stays like this. So you have the drop. So I'll just go ahead and cut it open right now. So I'm going to put my notch here now. So this part I'm just going to trim. Let it is a little bit sharp, so let it be a little bit straight. So I'm just going to spread it out. Let's see. Okay, so now I'm going to explain to you how it will look like. So you see what we have here. It's looking funny, right? So here is how it's going to look like. So this is our notch part for our shoulder. So this whole shoulder, this whole width now, we're going to plate it into the shoulder of our this one and then this will come down like this and then the other one also we're going to plate it so that is why you need the notch so when you plate it so you can see what we have already so you see it is looking like it is looking like the dress already and then this drops down so for the dropping so you can see depends on how much drop you want it to be so it drops down and then this to make sure that this one is going to sit so that is why i said this in inner one is like the guide you understand you know everything is going to drop it's going to be on the same length with that and then you're going to use that to trim everything to fit so the first thing before i continue that what i'm going to do now i'm going to take the, i'll show you how to stitch it so i'll take this to my machine and then i'll go and finish the neckline of my net i'll finish the neckline so i'm just going to use a bias binding tool to turn it out and then after doing that this one 
also this one i'm going to use so for this you can cut out a facing so what you will do you can cut out a facing or you, you line it just make sure you cover the whole of this area so this part from here this notch part now to this notch part is the neckline part you need to finish it properly so mine i'm going to use hemming gum to finish my own so you can use whatever anyhow you know you are going to cover it so i'll make use of my hemming gum and then i'll iron it down to get that clean neat finishing so this shoulder part you're not going to touch it and then i'll take it back and then do the same thing to the back finish the back neckline and then i'll take it to the machine and show you how to join this to this and then we'll, we'll cut out the down part okay so now we're going to start on plating so you see my yoke i finished up the neckline just like i explained so you can see this is my this is the cow part also i finished the neckline part also so the only part where i did not stitch where i did not pen is the the shoulder part so this shoulder part now this whole shoulder part i'm going to plate it to fit into this part so you just take it from the notch point like this and then i'm just going to pleat it so now i'll have drapes and so that's just like yes and so you can use anyhow you just want to do it okay so i've done it to this first side i'm going to go ahead and do it to this other one also so this is the shoulder i'll put it let it fit into it here so i hope you can see it okay so i finished doing that so the next thing i'm going to do now the side i'm going to match the side seams together so this part this armhole part like this just ignore that part just what you are going to do just ignore it i'm going to match the sides you understand i'm going to use this as a guide now this is the back i'm going to stitch it like this down and then this one also i will stitch this one down also that's i hope you understand what i'm trying to explain please i just hope you understand so i'll just go ahead and do the same thing i'll just stitch it around like that and then I'll come back and show you how it will look like on the back. Okay, so I've finished stitching. So I'm going to show you. So it is looking a little bit funny here, but it is okay. Why I said it's okay? Because I checked it. So this is the center part. And then this is our shoulder part. So the next thing that we're going to do now. So I'm going to show you the back. So you see the shape of our bodies. That is what you are going to fix it let it fix into the part so for this down part it was a little bit wide so i ha I had to trim it a little bit so i want you to put that into consideration so the next thing we are going to do now we are going to trim out our armhole so this is the armhole now so i'm just going to go ahead like this i'll use the guide so you see i've trimmed out the armhole so i'm going to go ahead i'll do the same thing for this side also so you see our bodies so it's when you pull it out like this is looking funny so the next thing we're going to do now we're going to join the back and the front together on the shoulder part like this so i have my back piece now so this is my back piece so i'm going to take those pieces now I'm going to join them together. So everything you are doing is this black bodies that will serve as a guide. So this is the shoulder part. So any excess, just make sure. So you see it's like this now. So I'm going to join this now. From here now, I'll join it on this shoulder part. And then I'll take this one also. On the shoulder part, I'll join them together like this. So after joining them, I'll use these bodies as my guide. I will join my side seam together. You understand? So I'll do it for both sides. I'll join this other side also together. And then we'll cut out the pepper. So we're almost done. 
Okay, so welcome back to the table. So you can see how our the cow top part, how it is looking. So you see this part now. So it depends on how deep you want it to be. So you can just do that. So for the down part now, we're going to cut the, the peplum that we're going to attach to this down part. So it is a kind of like a triangle kind of peplum. So what you would do, you use your regular peplum way of cutting peplum to cut this. So I'm just going to use my 36 inches. I'll add 2 inches because you see it is covered at the back because I'm adding a, a zipper to it, 36 inches. So I'll make it 38 for the waist. And then for the length, you are going to determine how long you want it to be. So I'll just fold my fabric and then I'll cut it for you to see. So I hope you can see how I folded my fabric. So it is folded into four. I have this part. This part is going to be the short part of the peplum. So my, my peplum, I'm using 38. So I'm just going to use the freehand method. So you can use your regular peplum formula for this also. So I'm just going to place this to get my 9 inches because you divide you divide it into 4. I'll divide my waist measurement into 4. What I have, I'll place it here. I'll just check. So this part now is going to be this part. It's going to be the shorter part of the peplum. So for that short part, I'm going to go ahead. I'll use about 10 inches. So that is 10 inches. I'll add 1 inch for stitching allowance. And then from this point like this, I'll just continue. That's 11 inches now. I'll just continue marking it. So this is the center of my peplum. So I'm just trying to get the center. This is just like a guide. So I'll continue to mark the 11 inches. So once I mark it to this point, now from this point in place now, I'm going to slope it into the longer part. So for this longer part, you are the one that will determine how long you want it to be. You understand? So you choose how long you want it to be. So this is about 23 inches or 24 inches there about. So from this point, I'm just going to do this. So for the width, for the wideness of that V part, you are the one that will determine that. So I'm just going to go ahead and do this. So create like a V. So you can see what I have. So you see I have my round peplum up to the center point of my peplum round and then from this point I just made something like a, a straight V down so I hope you understand it okay so you see I'm going to cut out this top part right now so you see what we have so you can see it is looking like what we have on the picture right so the next thing now I'm going to go ahead and open this part Okay, so I will take it back to my machine now. I will go and fix. I will go and fix it around. So if you want to, like, if you're adding a zipper, this is the front. So you can open up the back also if you are going to add a zipper into it. So I'll go ahead and just the same normal way you sew your peplum. I'll go and sew attach it around and then i'll place it on the mannequin for you to see for the edges i'm not adding a line i'm going to use an overlock seam to lock it all up so it will look neat okay guys so at the end of the day you can see how our cow um, yoke neckline dress how it looks like so it came out really beautiful so i like the top part so for this down part so you can see the peplum so you can see the slit that i added on this down part for this, I'm going to take out others after I just added this one for the sake of illustration. This dress is actually a gown, so this part I'm going to remove it after this video. I'm going to take it out so you can see how it looks like it really came out really beautiful. So that is the peplum for those of you that will want to sew it as a peplum, and then this is the top part for those of you that will want to sew it as a top or a gown. So you can see it really came out. I'm just so excited at the outcome of it. So thank you so much. If you find it helpful, 
I would appreciate. So this once you put it on, you can just fix it the way however you want to fix it. So, so.